you went from dream versus dread. Okay, I dread this is happening to me mm -hmm. and I'm being pulled to a certain degree of my dream. You've learned how to build a team and sponsor, recruit, follow up, the basics of network marketing. But the leadership side for you was to say, how do I lead what I've built, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so what were some of the big breakthroughs that you had there? And there were some people in our business uh, early on who were, I would say leading big teams, but they weren't leading, they just had big teams. Mm -hmm. They built a big team. Mm -hmm. And that was where I started to realize, oh, there is another thing you have to do here. It's not just build a big team, it's lead them too. I had to look at a lot of, of the way I presented myself. Mm -hmm. So that could, that could be right from uh, how I turned up to meetings, uh, how I looked when I turned up. So you were drunk all the time. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the kind of behaviours, you know, am I going to get involved in gossip? Am I going to get involved mm. in drama? Am I going to be the person standing at the bar, you know, last thing at the end of the evening with alcohol in my hand? Mm. Uh, and think about things like that um, because I realised that some of the uh, traits I brought with me from uni university life mm. were not going to lead mm. a big organisation. And did you read about that or did you just inherently, as you're developing a team and trying to lead them, these realizations came to you? Um, both. Both, yeah. Okay. So seeing, seeing how uh, people responded to me, people, mm. seeing how people responded to other leaders who were good examples and other leaders that weren't uh -huh. great examples, but also, you know, reading, listening. Yeah. So you watch the result that people have. And I think one of the leadership traits, Warren, is, is that we have to continually be critical thinkers, mm. that we have to observe and see what's happening so that we can continually adjust. And so you kind of had that leadership trait mm. and you acted on it. Wes has a gift for observation. Mm. Like if you've listened to this interview, there's three or four different points where you pointed out that you observed mm. and you noticed you observed your dad's lifestyle and you saw what he was accomplishing. Like, I think I would like a lifestyle like that. Mm. But you also observed, I don't think I'd like to do it in that necessary, that specific business. And that led you into networking. And you saw some of the poor models. And I think it's really interesting because General Norman Schwarzkopf said that I learned more in the military from bad leadership examples mm. than I did good leadership examples. And so this power of observation, you were able to see and like, man, it's not cool to be a leader with a beer in your hand late night. It's like you're setting the wrong example for the new person that may be trying to break that habit. It's not cool to be gossiping over there, pulling some of the side and gossiping about so-and-so. And you can start to think through, man, how would that make me feel? Or maybe you were the one being gossiped. How did it make you feel? Mm. And then now as a leader, putting on your leadership lens, you gotta say, would I want my team to feel the way I feel right now? Mm. And if not, now you've been given a great example. Don't tell me, well, I just never had a good leadership example. Great. Mm. Then you've had poor leadership examples <laughs> right. that are going to teach you great <laughs> lessons about how not to do leadership. And that's what General Norman Schwarzkopf said, is I learned great lessons of how not to do it. And then said, that's how I'm not going to do it, so I'm going to do it this way. Yeah. And, and your observations, your studying of leadership, you learn so much from watching good leadership and bad leadership, recognizing the difference and applying it, and then look at the leader you become today. Next.